Hello and welcome. Architect611 here. We are back in Spring Meadows in City Skylines. We just created this uh, entrance and exit system on the highways. Uh, I did notice one thing though, that if traffic from this highway wants to get onto this road going in this direction, they have to take this exit ramp and come through here, go underground, and go over this way. That does mean that they have to come in here with all of this other traffic. And if we could cut that part out, that could make the flow even better. So let's start this episode with that. Space already occupied. Uh-oh. Maybe because we're under the overpass All right. and then page down slope too steep we're also on a hill apparently that would work uh, but it's really in the wrong direction What if we went up? I don't think we can get up in time. Oh, that's way too high. But yeah. Not going to fit that in. We do have the option of just waiting and seeing how bad traffic is. But I really do think this is something that's going to become an issue. Get it down in that distance. Let's let's see what happens. If we go all the way out there. And then bring it around like this. I, I think it's gonna work. It's definitely not the prettiest way to do it, but it works. And then we've got the same issue over here. So if we can. this off there and then connect like that All right that should help keep traffic out of this section where we already are going to have two lines of traffic intersecting this would just be another this would just be a third so this reroutes that traffic around it, and that's key. Same thing over here. Now, oil. So we have oil over here, and that's what we're going for with this expansion. This is something I am not very familiar with, so I totally might make a bunch of mistakes. Um, but we're going to figure out stuff along the way. If you have advice or if I'm doing something completely wrong, please just let me know in the comments. I am happy to learn. Uh, I want this to come down here, I think. Let's double check that oil map. Yeah. Then, oh, again, I apologize for having my mods on. I'm recording this episode right after I recorded the last, so I haven't had a chance to actually go turn them off. I didn't even restart the game. Uh, now this one, I'm thinking one way. I'm going to be completely unfamiliar with how much traffic the oil industry produces, but then... Am I allowed to use these? I don't... I think those are from the mods. Alright, I was totally thinking about just stopping this video halfway through. I mean, we're not halfway, but it's this portion that we're in and restarting it. But since you're hearing this video, it's happening. Um, so let's make it work. If we 
do... Oh, we could stop it much earlier than that. I was not thinking about that zoning on this road. And then if we come up to here, and then back. Oh, that's a... Yeah, oh, I didn't do a straight road here. Yeah, this is a kind of a... A bendy road, not the straightest. Um, but if we toggle off all of this snapping, and let's just leave a uniform gap down the middle. Now, double checking the oil map. That's not it. That should cover most of it, and I think we will just make this industry oil as well. And that's a good start. I'm happy with that. Uh, I want to kind of explore this, figure it out, and not just go all out at once and overwhelm the city. So let's put down some industry. I think we can do this first, um, then I'll add the zoning. I mean, not the zoning, the, uh, the district. So let's make an oil district. If it, I mean, I guess they're saying that this all has oil in here, right? And that this is just the densest part. Is there oil all the way throughout here? Yeah. I don't know how useful it is though. Try this to start, and we're going to call this District Black Forest. We added the industry already, and then this stuff, I'm guessing, will change over to oil industry. Oh, oh no, I need to still add the oil. That's delete. Not what I wanted to do. We do want to delete some. And then oil. Now it's an oil district. So let's see. Yep, these buildings move out and oil moves in. As I suspected. Electricity and water, of course. Four forty is the magic number for water grids. And then power oh they have it here. They're just not connected right now. So let's do that temporarily. Here is the beginning of our oil industry. Look at these things. This is new to me. I'm sure some of you have seen this many times. Look at our beautiful city. Can you imagine all the people? This is their commute to work. Just driving along here. Oh, look at that. There's probably a better way to look at this, right? Nope, that didn't change much. Oh, and then you get to this bridge. You're like, I'm almost to work. Gotta get off here. I'm underground. And work. Yeah. That's the commute of someone who lives up here in the city and works down here. 
look at this traffic. I, I mentioned public transportation in the last episode. Oh god. <laughs> I wonder... And I'm curious, yeah, how much traffic oil uses. It's really not looking that bad right now. Yeah, if, if, if they're like simulating pipelines, like the oil goes off in a pipeline, they wouldn't use much at all. But no, it looks like it's going off in trucks. Some back up here. Lots of backup here. What's going on? We still got 80, 83 percent traffic flow, which is pretty good for vanilla. This is a completely vanilla playthrough. No mods, no DLC, no traffic manager. And that is part of the challenge, part of the fun. This isn't looking great. Okay, so I used these these two-way, two-lane, one-way roads here. They're vanilla, right? I can use them. But this is really getting backed up. Maybe we'd rather have them go the other direction because then they come in here, they have to make their left in, and then they can make a right out. I like that idea. See if that helps. And I totally got distracted from our oil industry. Well, actually, no, I guess there's nothing to get distracted from. We're, we're giving it time just to see what happens. And then we will grow it. Right now. Uh, not what I wanted. Alright, does this help the traffic? It already appears to have. And if you didn't understand what I mean, hopefully you can see it now. All this traffic can just turn this way. It doesn't have to come and then cross itself. The fewer crosses you can have in your traffic flows, the better. And then now that we have more oil, the idea is hopefully we can get rid of some of this basic industrial zoning because a lot of them are having these product problems. How's our traffic? Much better, much better. It just it keeps having problems over here for a little bit, and then they tend to resolve themselves. And I am still really impressed with these bridges. Like, just look. These are our four main arteries between sides of the city. And I'm really impressed. Like, three two-lane bridges are just supporting all the necessary traffic that doesn't go on the highway. 85% traffic flow. Kind of amazed with that. How's Black Forest doing? Pumping oil. I am also very curious how long uh, it lasts. Oil is obviously a finite resource. So I wonder how quickly it's gone. Oh, there you go. It tells you. All of these are oil. And if we just continue to exp expand it then over here, does that mean we'll get just more oil? 
Will it force oil, even if there is no oil to be drawn? Is that the verb? Uh, if I go back here... No, no, we want it to be here. These are all oil. I wonder how they perform. Like, Do they perform worse when there's only a tiny bit of oil in the ground? Here, there's zero oil. Here... Those might be trees. Oh, is this all just trees? It's hard to tell. And then, I mean, you can tell this is black oil. This is oil. This is oil. Right? And then this is all oil, but then... It's hard to tell. Doesn't this look like it's all just forest with no oil? But then there... They seem to be doing fine. If you understand this in the comments, please just let me know what's going on. Do these buildings uh, produce oil or not? Should I have done that and expanded the zone or not? Let's see how this uh, is doing. Totally fine. Not much traffic yet. Let's continue expanding since we have the need. Um, we'll continue expansion up this way. I don't like the idea of four-way intersections. Let's do something about that. What if we bring another thoroughfare we'll have to stop traffic here and we'll just have like a parallel thoroughfare I, I know they don't do this in real life and there's a there's probably a reason why that's why I'm a little concerned but let's try this and then using the one ways since we have them over there Oh no, but I've just wasted so much space. Maybe I don't want to do this. So much precious oil space. With a, a big thick road. Um, there's not enough room to really zone stuff on it either. Alright, let's see how it works. If we do these four-way intersections. Traffic will come in this way. They'll take a right and then have to take a left out, which is unfortunate. I think we could make it up to here. And yeah, that'll do. It's not a perfect road. And the zoning is all messed up because of the electric wires. You can barely see them in this rain. So let's keep the game playing. So hopefully the no pause in case we're in case we've just put half the city into a blackout. If we haven't, then we don't need these wires anymore. Let's take a look at that. All our electricity comes from here. So we definitely need this connection. Then there's this connection into here and into the rest of the area. So we'll bring this back. And then this can join up here. And I think that's good. Is everyone happy? Everyone's happy. Now, let's do this. Actually, I don't know about uh, these ones. 
Just avoiding any industry on this main road. So no one's turning in and uh, onto it. More utilities. Does the district need to expand? It does. Since we know we're going to expand with it, let's bring it all the way up here. That's an isolated garbage issue. Looks like it was. I'm just kind of looking around the city, half admiring it, half looking for the next problem. Traffic is a big issue in this game. That's something you have to monitor at all times. I'm looking at that as well. But, you know, it's, it's, it's thick traffic, but it's flowing. Uh, public transportation would not hurt. Oh, I have been neglecting services out here. I think we have some down here, right? But they don't connect easily. I think I want to keep these as completely separate districts. That does mean completely separate services, though. Hmm... Yeah. All right. So if we put, it's, we're gonna have some expansion up this way, and not this way though, right? Yeah. So we could put them in along the road here. Medical, fire, police, and then death care. Look at that. Just a strip of services. Very American. I think. Maybe other countries do this too. I don't want to uh, discredit them. Um, and then garbage. It looks like they can get garbage services. But I do want to connect up a bridge here anyway. Uh, we were just talking about these thoroughfares down here. They're doing well, but we need something up here. Let's... I actually don't know how much traffic will use it, because I don't think oil is going to want to go this way. But once we pull all the oil out of the ground, this could go back to your generic industry and then service the commercial over here. Let's see what our option... Not what I wanted. We want the curvy tool. 89 degrees, okay. Oh, that's a cool bridge. I want that one. I guess it's what we get with this kind of a road type, but only when it's really small. Okay. But we couldn't have one with three of those. That's what I want. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing then. Give it some style. Yeah, look at that. Uh, 
Uh, just nerding out on the bridge for a moment, and then we'll get back to city building. Traffic managing, mostly. Oh, this is looking bad. We have to keep the clover leaf flowing. Otherwise, the city shuts to down? I was gonna say, I wanted to say shuts down and comes to a grind at the same time. This is bad. Oh, by switching the direction of the one way as we move the light over here. But really, that shouldn't make much of a difference. I would think. Maybe if we just extended this out and gave them just more of a line so more cars can queue up behind this light, that could help. Yeah, they could come all the way around here. Just do a big loop. Let's see. I'm, I'm not sure, but it would not hurt to try. Um, I think we can continue from there. Don't have to delete that one. Let's bring them out here. So the idea is that it just gives us a little bit more breathing room. More cars can get out of the way of this highway. And then when this light goes green, they all flow. Ideally, we wouldn't have this, uh, what do you call that, merge? But they're all going to need to end up in this left lane anyway to make this left turn. We don't have any traffic going to the right. Overall, still 85%. That's amazing. We just cannot let this fail. That is an integral part of our city. I do like testing out traffic without public transportation and kind of pushing it to its limits and then adding public transportation to help when uh, the roads can no longer suffice. This uh, industry park is doing amazing. I say that as it goes a little redder. Words, man. I like this little uh, rapids area. Can you imagine taking a boat down here? I'd... <laughs> Imagine you miss your exit on the highway. What? Oh, whoa. There's an old uh, shipwreck here. So we do have some traffic here already. Oh, actually, that's great, because it means everyone here can just work here. Can you imagine the people having to commute before this bridge was built? And, oh god, this line is backing up the here. I just saw it. Yeah. A 
that there is going to be fluctuation. We could try putting another off-ramp here that connects up, but we want that spacing. We want uh, spaces for traffic to merge in here. There are specific nodes that they merge at. Apparently, uh, oil pollutes more than your uh, generic industrial zones. But it doesn't look that bad. Uh, oh, are we just low on power? Yep. That should do for a bit. Oh, it's still going up? I didn't realize how much of a delay there was. Okay, yeah, that, that should do for a long time. We could double our uh, consumption. That might actually be too much on our budget, but it doesn't look so bad. Oh, we could also delete these. I don't think we need to right now. Money doesn't seem to be much of an issue. We've got three million in the bank. And this is the most important part. We just have to keep it in the green. Uh, I like to give myself some breathing room. Good 20,000. That means if we need to add more surfaces, if something happens, we can easily afford to. We also have this as some breathing room. Even if we need to end up in the negatives, we can for a bit. There's some crime over here. Let's double check the policing. It's literally like two buildings from the police station, but the police have to drive all the way around. Still a bunch of demand for industrial so let's continue our oil expansion if we I want it coming in this way the traffic going in this direction so I do That's where we want the block to start. But then and reverse it. And continue from there. How high does this oil go? All the way up here. Actually, all the way like out to here even maybe see that line and then is there one more shade but let's stop it here that's a long block so let's divide it into quarters I'm thinking or just thirds thirds might be fine If they've come all the way around here and need to get back to a building up here, I want to give them a way to do that. I don't want to cause a lot of traffic, though. If we do that, no traffic lights. 
No traffic lights. I'm happy with that then. Um, let's add some zoning. Look at this oil industry coming in. Uh-oh. Now this is the problem. This one no longer is. Yeah, and I knew these short blocks wouldn't be great. That's getting worse and worse. Hoping it just clears itself up, honestly. The only idea I can think of is connecting straight to this intersection. I honestly don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's getting worse. Um... Yeah, it's just, it's not getting the time it needs for traffic to flow. If this was a one-way street, I don't think there would need to be a light. That would mess up our whole flow on this island. Alright, well, let's try. Connecting it up to the intersection. I suspect that's not going to help, but I'm not really sure. Oh. Let's see. Still not great. I'm now thinking, what if we make this a more major thoroughfare street? Then... I know that destroys a bunch of buildings, but does that give this light more priority? I can't... I think so. I was going to say I can't really tell, but now I think so. Yeah. Okay. That may have helped for now, or solved it for good. Yeah, okay. Well, that's looking a lot better. How's it doing over here? Not too bad. Knock on wood. This is a moment in the series where I am kind of just trying to take a breath, slow down, look for any problems, try and solve them, kind of set up a good foundation for the future where you can see this traffic is going to become a nightmare. I still like our downtown island.
our, our, uh, blah, 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 our low density residential area. This isn't it. This is where our town started, right around here. What's going on over here? What is... Why that symbol? I mean, is it just telling me it's not connected? I wonder why they aren't connected to each other. Doing decent on water. Trash. We're producing and we're still processing much more than we're producing. We've got a bunch over here and we can always add more over here, but they will only service so much. We've got a section group of them down here, down here. And it looks like we still have two right there. Medical. Oh. We're not doing great down here. Do we have... We have fire, police, but no medical? Oh. Oh, no, we do. Oh, death care. Death care. Education. University still doing great. Elementary school good. High school good. And no public libraries. Um, if someone can please tell me why I need public libraries or why I should build them, please do. I should probably Google it. But the game has never punished me for it. There might be something I'm missing out on though. Look at this beautiful city at night. Let's continue some industry expansion over here. Just a little though, because these are starting to pick up. That seems like a lot to me, but oh well. I don't want to overdo it. This still looks fine. I am noticing these uh, garbage problems, though. They seem like very isolated, random ones. But if we see more and more of them, they're no longer isolated. But, like, come on. These guys should easily be serviced over here. And they're using two of their 27 garbage trucks. Which I still don't understand. Does the game just provide way too many garbage trucks? Or is that for if the entire zone around it that it can service was completely filled with high density? And still, we wouldn't be able to process all that garbage. And I don't get it. All right, well, with absolutely no timer running, I am guessing it is a perfect time to end the episode. So thanks for watching. See you next time.